Pink Glasses by Amy Ruthinger. It was a night like any other, or at least it started out that way, but the longer I lay there and the later it got, the more my tummy started to feel weird. It was like butterflies were having a dance party inside of me. I couldn't sleep. When I did finally drift off, I woke up to the sounds of my friends pointing and laughing at me and calling me names. Oh, how I wanted to wake up sick and not have to go to school. Just one week before that dreadful night, nurses came in to do vision and hearing checkups. After my screening, I heard what no little first grader wants to hear. You need to go to the eye doctor. You might need glasses. Fear suddenly rushed into my head. What are the other kids going to think of me? Are they going to call me things like four eyes? I went to the eye doctor and got the worst possible news. I did, in fact, need glasses. I did not want to go to school the next day. No one else in my class had glasses. When I went to school, I had the best surprise ever. My teacher, Mrs. Matthews, had worn her glasses just for me to make me feel comfortable. I was the only one to match Mrs. Matthews, and that was something special we shared all year long. Because Mrs. Matthews went out of her way to wear glasses just for me, she helped to create a safe and nurturing environment for learning in her classroom, just like Ayers states in his book. From that day forward, I was able to wear my pink glasses with pride and without worrying what anyone thought of me. The End